G'day, I'm Ash. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Buccaneer S2, which is an interesting support fighter at best, or support interceptor or attacker, but it's one of two vehicles that Britain has that is dedicated as an attacker aircraft. This is a naval uh, aircraft, so can it land on carriers? Probably not. Uh, can it do anything particularly well? Not at the moment, currently. Now, obviously, it's rank 6, but rank 9.3. Let's go over the modifications and we'll have a look briefly here. It does get access to G-Suit, it does get access to the AGM-12Bs, it does get access to flares and the 1,000 pound bombs, as well as AIM-9Bs. However, stock, the loadout is quite underwhelming. It is basically just 500 pounds times 24. So while that is a lot of ordnance, it itself is not exactly the greatest thing to grind out. You're going to have to do a lot of attacking just to unlock all the modules. And even then, there is something that I must point out here. These things... These are flares, right? If I equip those, you get flares and you can hold bombs. Now, you can have flares with rockets, flares with, with bullpups. You can have the flares with the bombs or the rockets. Or the snebs, for example. Uh, but you can't have the flares at all in your anti-air or multi-setup, sort of, so to speak. So this thing does come with sidewinders. You can either have an anti-air cap capacity or you can basically have nothing. So the best loadout that I have found that works pretty well is the RN rocket sums 36 and then the four 1000s although you can also go with the rp3 rockets if you're a bit of a masochist that's okay as well you could also go with the agms but suffice to say it's quite disappointing that you can't equip flares it is just really disappointing to see a fantastic aircraft not have radar and not being able to use the radar despite it being modeled and the fact that you can't use the flares you can only use them in a defensive role rather than a support role with the aim nines but that's not the only disappointing thing right this thing has no guns you are going to be a support fighter if that your two aim nines that is about it that's all you get you have to be very selective of what you shoot in terms of armor there's no armor protection at all let's take a look at the xo real quick this thing has really interesting engines the rolls or spay 101s and then obviously it has radar now in the game the radar for some reason has disappeared i remember playing this thing on the dev server it did have radar then I believe there's something wrong with it they might be implementing it again but it's disappointing that it hasn't come to live server yet it has a radar in the front nose that'd be fantastic because there's a pilot and there is a secondary pilot in the back as well or, or your rio other than that it's your standard double wing spar followed by fuel tanks and a couple of flight controls there isn't really much else to say here aside from that this aircraft in general is rather disappointing it does have a tail hook although the use on carriers is quite controversial in its own self and then it's also got these weird air brakes which we'll touch and we'll show in some gameplay anyway let's get stuck into it right so the buccaneer incredibly useless i have managed to get some success using the rockets on this thing killing aircraft but it's incredibly hard to do so and the bomb base yeah they're fantastic it's got a rotating bomb bay and it sort of swivels around and then drops the bombs out that's fantastic that's always fun as you can see there's the air brake in action there coming in just controlling my speed now there is an a4 off to my right we'll go after him right now but I find this thing incredibly limited. Not only is the stock bomb load just bombs, there is no other real initiative for you to actually play this vehicle at all unless you, you know, want to bully a few aircraft. With no forward firing armaments, you find yourself increasingly, I guess, under threat because you really can't provide the team enough support. Now I'm down to one air-to-air -air missile, that A7D is completely and utterly dead. It doesn't really necessarily matter either because by the time you get put in a position where you can actually help there is nothing really objectively that you can do as you can see she's fairly mobile pulling under the a4 here but that is something you really shouldn't you know count on this aircraft for now i made a crucial mistake here i should have waited a little longer before launching my missile i didn't account for the fact that these aren't harrier or srams the missile went completely veered off. Now would have been a perfect time to fire that missile because it would have at least happened or at least killed the vehicle. But anyway, we land back at the base and that's basically it. As you can see, this thing is very much a support fighter. If that, it's more a ground attack and it probably have more use in ground realistic than it would at this current battle running. Anyway, opening the bombs again. Gonna drop a couple of these guys. Gonna go find some more ground targets along the way. In fact, we'll probably just end up by dropping them on light tanks or maybe the bombing base. I don't know. Where are we actually going to go? Okay, we're going to go towards the bridge here. I am recording this live as possibly I can. All right, there you go. There was a brief look at the cockpit. Not really much to say. As you can see, the revolving door on the bomb by itself. 
But yes, suffice to say that this thing isn't exactly the greatest, and really its primary role is essentially just ground attack. Anyway, moving into the next match. Again, we have played five or six matches. We're going to try and keep the speed down to try and get on this F11's tail here. I don't know if we'll actually manage to get him, but if he doesn't turn, you know, there's no situational awareness. After that triangle disappears, there's no real point. There's an A7D down there, and there's a F11 to my right. But look, we're closing in on this guy. I might as well cook a missile up. I don't think he's watching where he's going. Because if he is, he's not going to know what hit him. And he wasn't watching where he's going. Fantastic. And sh shortly later, I die. But suffice to say that this thing isn't exactly the greatest. As you can see here, there's a, quite a few things going for me. And that is a missile. So again, you find yourself in a lot of these kind of scenarios. Back to hanging we go. Now I'll show you a full match. This time we're on, a, I don't know, that new map, that Ground Forces map. I believe it's China. So starting off, you, you will notice something here. You get the Bomb Aimer reticle, and that's fantastic. But that's really the only thing that is really unique about this thing. It doesn't get its radars. You can't use the flares when you've got air-to-air -air missiles. I spawned in late, so half the team is chasing one aircraft already. And we've got this massive city, so we're going to take advantage of that while we can. Because, honestly, I love flying through buildings and things. So much fun. And we know there's a Harrier up there somewhere, but where exactly? That is the good question. Hell, if we had radar, it would have been fantastic. We do have RWR, which is good. But again, I don't think it's really the, the, the more important thing here. But I suppose as a support fighter and, and interceptor, your primary role isn't necessarily to take down aircraft. It's to protect yourself from enemy fighters and to obviously ensure that your team gets a victory, right? But in the air realistic, it's always been a matter of team deathmatch. So no matter what you do or how you do it, there is no real way for you to actually be a competitive aircraft in this, unless you use the rockets. Now, unfortunately, some of the clips that I have recorded today have corrupted, but I do have three rocket kills in one match. And that was the match I was hoping to show off in this particular video, but hey, it is what it is. And as you can see here, the bomb aiming reticle is fantastic. I open up the bomb bay line up with some ground vehicles down there just manually while I'm watching out for Harriers drop all my ordnance there they go bombs away we go ESA and there is a Harrier literally your worst enemy these things are a absolute plague American Harriers British Harriers the works they are the most annoying cumbersome things that I have ever witnessed now had I realized that he was going to outmaneuver this one I don't think I'll get this kill but we will see we managed to get the ground targets, and yeah, that uh, AV-8 is going to outmaneuver that uh, missile. That's okay. He is getting chased by lightning, and he has pulling up, so we might actually get a chance at shooting him. I'm holding off my missile here because he is in a bend, and by the time the missile comes around, there isn't really going to be any point. But if he's clever enough, he will outpace us. And obviously, this thing being a fat bastard that, that it is, <laughs> the Suckaneer, or the Fuckaneer, or whatever you want to call this aircraft... There we go, and Fox 2. He doesn't stand a chance. There we are. Now, we've got some rockets left, so let's go use those on some ground forces, hey? Have a bit of a fly around the city, because really, you're not going to get amazing matches in this thing. I, I guarantee you there will be other content creators that have five, six kills in this vehicle today, and they've already recorded and put up the videos they want of this particular aircraft. But for me, I just couldn't get this thing to work effectively enough for my play style. I'm a very aggressive player. I don't play by the rules. I also don't know how to use my aircraft effectively. So it's kind of a mixed bag here. And there we go and flying through the city. That's so much fun. There's an A4E over the other side. But that about wraps up this vehicle. It's first impressions leave me wanting more. And this is in a fully upgraded state. I really just wish to uh, strap on some better rockets some better missiles and and maybe some flares because at least this thing will be somewhat competitive in that regard but other than that that's the buccaneer i hope you've enjoyed today's video bit of a short one i know but there'll be more content soon this thing it doesn't really live up to its name it's a challenge to use i like that and i like the challenge it presents no guns no ordnance no f you know way of falling back onto something but again it's a little bit of a struggle especially when you're fighting Harriers and A4Es. This has to be the most underwhelming aircraft that exists at top tier, and that really is a sad thing to say. Anyway, my name is Ash. Thank you very much for watching today's video. 
Like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Cheerio. Bye-bye.